We're still here. We are here. We only need the two of us together. I need only you in this crazy world. Cause we got love, love. I need only you here with me. You wanna get close to me? Why don't you do it right now? Welcome back. Good morning. Is it still morning? Uh, good it's, afternoon. Mm, oh, it's morning. It's 11.44. 11 Four. Good morning. We're still here. We are here. I told Arlo I want to start vlogging again. So here's to day one. It's Wednesday, November 17th. Yep, some things never change. We went to Costco. Today. <laughs> we just got back from my mom's house. I wanted to drop a card off for my brother. Today's his birthday. Um, so we went. A lot has changed. We'll catch you guys up on all of the things. But we dropped by their house, dropped the card off, visited for a little while. And then, well, we went to Costco. Well, we dropped Austin off at work. He's working. We went to Costco, went to my mother's. Now we're back home. I'm gonna show you what we got from Costco. Super small haul, but we did get a bunch of things that we needed. So here we go. All right, and then I'll catch you guys up on what's happening. Um, we got the plain bagels from there. You get the two for like $6.99. The kids absolutely love these, these bagels. They prefer these more than any other bagel, truthfully. So we got that. Um, our favorite smoked salmon ever. I'll show you what I'm doing with that for lunch today. These are absolutely my favorite thing to eat. Love dates. I've been eating them for months now and I will never ever stop. They're so freaking good. Bananas and yes, if you're confused, you're, you're seeing these things right. These are ours. These are ours. You'll see. Got the 647 Twin Pack Bread. We absolutely love this bread. It, it's been around a while and we've never really tried it. And now all of a sudden we like it. So there's that. Um, some artisan romaine. We got some ground beef from there because the ground beef from there is really delicious. And it's it's 8812, which is nice and lean. I like that. Um, these are for Thanksgiving. We are going to my parents for um Thanksgiving. I'm not hosting this year, thank God. I don't want to cook. So we're gonna bring some of this. We're gonna bring probably something else, another side, and then um dessert so i bought that and i like fresh cranberry i love the jarred shit you know like in the can but it is just like overly sweet for me so this this is really good uh some bone-in pork chops center cut bone-in pork chops these are amazing if you've never tried jeff i know you're watching thank you because i love them these are one of our favorites as well the sweet potato crackers so good we got um Broccoli and mushrooms. And I think we got water and salsa water, but that's not here. Anyway, so let me explain. Here we are. Let me explain to you. So I am no longer keto at all. Um, Arlo eats a uh, lower carb than I do, but there are moments that she eats like I do too. Um, not keto. Uh, I didn't want to do it anymore. I did it for a little over three years and that was enough for me. Um, it's not that there's anything wrong with it. I was just getting very bored with my choices in food. Um, and I was also getting kind of bored with the fact that if I was out and about having a good time or, you know, at a birthday party or whatever, I was restricted on what I could eat and if I could have anything at that party or whatever, a restaurant, whatever you want to say. But that's not the case anymore. Um, my weight has still pretty much, I'm still the same when I was keto. So the foods that I'm eating is still fine with me. Like I don't feel any different. I still feel very energetic. I work out every single day. I take my walk every day. I do a Caroline Gervan workout almost every day. I keep my, my body in motion and that's been also making things, you know, obviously easier because I feel good. Anywho, uh, and we joined the gym. So we go there like three times a week. So, which is nice. Got bustle. I don't want this. I don't want that fish taste in my mouth. 
she's eating these, what are they called? Shrimp oh, fries? Sure. Sh shrimp trip, chips, trips. I don't want them. Oh, there they are. Do you see them? We got them from the Asian store. Um, they're good, but I just don't want that. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to make for lunch today. And so, I mean, that's the gist of it. Uh, we got our tree up. Can you see it? There it is. We got our tree up. We put it up on Sunday. And, um, yeah, we want to get back into this. We want to share with you guys. Uh, we're not going to do this every day, but uh, we're going to, you know, once a week put a video out so you guys can keep up with us. Because I know a lot of you guys don't have Instagram. Now, if you're on Instagram, you already fucking know what's happening with us. You already know everything. Um, but if you're not, then you're lost and you're not in the loop. So, we're back. We are back. All right, have you guys ever even had dates before? If you get dates, these are the ones you have to get, okay? Not that you have to get these in Costco, because that's where we get them from, but how do you say them? Medjool? I think they're set. They're called Medjool dates. Um, they're the only ones I like, because it, there are all different kinds of dates, but this is just next level date. And they're freaking huge, by the way. And we like them cold. We don't like them like room temperature for some reason. We like them when they're a little like harder. But I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but we don't like them room temperature. We like them the, in the, the texture. It's different. Yeah. It's way different. So here they are. They're huge. And it's like Earth's caramel. Like, it's like eating caramel, but like good for you, caramel. I don't know. You should try it. Dates are amazing. I love them. All right, so this is what I'm doing. We're having a protein shake. We have one every single day. Um, we also get a lot of our protein in through shakes, a bar, and of course, obviously protein. But we make sure we have one of these every day. I use the cashew milk, the unsweetened cashew milk. It's 25 calories for a cup, which is amazing. I'm putting a banana in mine. Arlo ate her banana, so this is just the actual protein. This is the powder we use. We like the ISO 100. It's affordable. Also, this flavor is delicious. It's peanut butter. I'm walking around feeling free thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now don't know where, don't know how Lately I've come to realize That I can't see it in your eyes So it's true, I'm so glad you feel it too Nothing to hide, we're falling in love To me it's perfectly clear Lunch was really freaking good, by the way. I don't know if you know that, but it was so good. I wanted to show you. So I packaged up the pork chops that we bought from Costco. They're kind of big, so I only put two in each thing because, well, because they're kind of big. Um, and we're not going to eat two each. We're going to have one each. I'll probably slice them truthfully down the middle. Um, two of them were kind of small, so we'll probably pair that up with these two that aren't too big. And yeah, Arlo's going to break up the, what are you breaking up over there, girl? Ground beef. The ground beef. And then I'll put that stuff in the freezer. And then we have to pick up Austin from work at 2 o'clock. Uh, lunch was really good. I am going to make an espresso, though. Where's, see the espresso? I'm going to make a cold one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You guys know we have guinea pigs. So this is Raymond's. And these are the girls upstairs. I already fed Melvin and Vinny. And I wanted to show you. This is Raymond. Raymond. Oh, my legs hurt. I had leg day yesterday, so I could barely move. Raymond, say, Raymond, you rude. Raymond, 
Say hello. Say, I don't really grow much. I grow wide. I don't grow long. Say hi, Raymond. Oh, you're so cute. He's like, bitch, feed me now. No. He's so cute. Anyway, I'm going to feed them. Okay, so you guys didn't know this, which I'm sure everybody does, but some people don't. So, always when you get, like, ground beef, put it, either, either put it in bags, you have the, the food saver bags, you can have, like, Ziploc bags, you can put it with, you know, plastic wrap, whatever. Always flatten it, though. I mean, that ground beef I showed you, look at how this is all, you put it in your freezer all flat like this. Number one, it's a frost so quick when you take it out and have to use it. And number two, it just takes up less space in your freezer. So there's a good tip for you. I don't know about you guys, but the temperature in this state is really a fucking, a a shit show. it's a shit show. It's just ridiculous. Like I don't understand it. It's just, I mean, here we are on November 17th and it's going to be 70 degrees tomorrow. Like what the fuck, man? What, what, if, why? Why? I got into my car last night. It was 26. Today is a high of 59. Tomorrow will be 70. What the fuck? And then here's the thing. Like, there's these, like, it'll get warm for, like, a couple of days. And then because the temperature's so warm, then a cold front drops in and creates, a, like, r lots of rain. Like, so then there's a storm, and then it's cold again, and then it's hot again, and then because of another cold front's fl flying through, it's getting hot again. I mean, and there's another storm. It's just like, dude, come on. Can it just be, like, fall? Can it be November? Because th that'd be great. You know what I mean? Like, that'd be fucking great. We're going to pick Austin up. And then we have to do the leaves, which I'm not looking forward to. Just saying. Not at all fucking exhausted exhausted me and dana were outside for <sighs> a good hour and a half the leaves in the front are done thank freaking god we cut down our hostas cleaned up that front flower bed and so far actually dana's hurting because she had leg day yesterday or the day before oh god yeah so she's no, in pain yesterday but um i don't know if you guys can see Yeah, we still have to do those, which sucks. That'll be for another day. But, uh, we're gonna chill out for a little bit. Mm. And then we're gonna have dinner. Alright, just wanna show you dinner. So, if you're on TikTok, you know what this is. This is Emily Mariko's salmon bowl situation. There is exactly one cup of rice here, cooked rice. Um, salmon, obviously. We've got kimchi, a salsa water. These are four chicken dumplings, 120 calories. The seaweed, uh, soy sauce, sriracha, and kewpie mayo. And, you know, it's an experience if you've never, ever tried it. All right, so first day vlogging. Good night. In the books. We were beat. Good After dinner, night. Dana made some coffee. No, she made a chai tea. I'm sorry. I made some coffee. Dana was watching some YouTube, some... Uh, some lady, Isabel Page. Yeah. It was really cool. She was trying to build her her um shed. I don't know. It like sucked me in and then something else came on and I lost interest, so I started to read. And now it's oh my watch it's died. Time for bed. There you go. It's time for bed. Good. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy Thursday. You know what that sound is? That means my coffee's ready. It's like the best sound in the world. Like there is no other sound that compares to that sound right there. I slept really good last night. My fucking legs are killing me because I did a kettlebell leg day the other day from Caroline Gervan and holy hell, the bitch, she traumatized me and my legs. So I'm in pain. I mean, it's not really in pain. It, I'm sore, let's just be real. I'm usually I have a high high tolerance for pain, but this this is this is different Like oh fuck Anyway, I'm going to clean up my filter. Um, we're going to the gym today um, Probably about 9:30. Go to the gym today is upper body at the gym. I'm also going to do my cardio at the gym. I usually take a walk 
I'm not taking a walk today. Even though it's going to be a really beautiful day, I don't want to. <laughs> I think I just want to do my um, Stairmaster. Oh, oh, I just look gorge, by the way. Um, I really don't have any pimples on my face. These are like scars because I'm a picker. Is anybody else a picker? Because I'm a picker. Whatever. It is what it is. And that fucking light. I feel like I'm being interrogated. Is this better? Not really. I'm letting my hair grow out. Did I tell you guys that? We'll see how long it lasts. We are going to the gym. I've got my electrolytes. And it is November 18th and Mama's got shorts on. So let's write that date down. It's going to be like almost 70 today. Yeah. Anyway, I do have a sweatshirt on though. But that's just because, you know. I don't know what to expect out there right now because it's 9.30, so 9.36. Anyway, I took out, this is blood. This is pork belly and beef blood. This is Arlo's dinner for tonight. No, I did not make that. That, That's all her. Um, I took out some pork chops for tomorrow. They're hard like a rock. I should have just left them out yesterday when we bought the damn things, but I forgot about that. So once they actually defrost, I'm going to season them up and put them in the fridge. We'll eat those tomorrow with some spaghetti squash and a tuna noodle salad made with chickpea pasta. And then for dinner tonight, for me and the kids, I have some chicken thawing out. I'm not going to use all of this, but I am going to use three out of the four breasts that are there. The other one I'm just going to leave for myself because I like to eat weird shit when Arlo's not around. Um, it's just ground chicken and there's things I do with my chicken um, that when she's home, she doesn't eat that kind of stuff. So that'll be for Saturday because she works this weekend. But I'm making a bacon ranch and broccoli casserole. Did I say that right? Bacon ranch chicken and broccoli casserole. Whew, Lord. My friend Allie on Instagram, she makes it, and I love it, and I've made it once. Arlo's not a big fan because the bacon, after like the first initial day of eating it, when you reheat it the next day, the bacon isn't as crispy, obviously, as it is the first day, but it doesn't really fucking bother me much, but it, do, it, but it does bother her, so she just won't be eating it. Um, when we get home, like I said, I'm making, she's going to have some oatmeal, a little bowl of oatmeal, eggs and bacon. I'm having cream of wheat. Uh, egg beaters and some turkey bacon. So that's our breakfast when we get home. That's all, folks. That's as that's as good as it gets over here. I don't know if I'm gonna take you in the in the in the car. I might take you with us in the car. I put you under the seat when we in the gym. I don't want nobody to see you. I'm not embarrassed about you, but or by you, but I don't want nobody to see you. Oh, can you see me? You can see half of me because it's sunny. There's our love. Um, I don't know how anybody drinks fucking black coffee. So we just went to Dunkin' Donuts and I got just, this is three pumps of sugar-free toasted almond cold brew, but I'm going to add cream to it. You know, I have it on the side here. But how the fuck does anybody ever drink that shit? It's like drinking, like licking an ashtray. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a fucking ashtray. It's disgusting. I don't know how anybody does it. If you drink black coffee, you strong. All right. I don't know. Did I tell you guys I've been really into chai tea lately? But the only chai tea that I like is from Wawa. It's like, you know, the kind that you got to do yourself. I don't know. For some reason, it's very good. Like, I've had various chai teas. And some of them are a little spicy. And it's not my thing. But this, very good. So ever since I've been making chai tea at Wawa or have been liking it, you know, here's what I'm going to say. I love chai tea. Arlo loves Wawa. You put the two and two together. She's Filipino. Every time Arlo goes to Wawa, she gets me chai tea. Do you know, do you catch, are you catching my drift at all? If you're not, I'm sorry, it's windy. So here's what's happening here. I've got some regular bacon here, turkey bacon here. We're having like a club sandwich. This is the 647 potato bread. That's the one Arlo's having. We're not toasting it though. We like it just kind of like soft. We've got various deli meats here, Munster cheese, homemade mayo. I mean, you get you get what's happening, right? And then I'm going to have it on this one because we ran out of the potato bread. We're going to have it with some Quest chips. And uh, yeah, that's it. 
was pretty much it. I've got broccoli in the microwave going on for her. I'm steaming it in there. She's going to have that with her dinner for work. So that's what's happening. And this is delicious, by the way. Okay, here's lunch. The sandwich I told you about, some Quest chips, my coffee, water, and some Gorillo's pickles. And that is all, folks. It's pretty simple today. Hi. I just was running up and down the stairs. I disinfected, disinfected, is that the right word? Yes. Disinfected Samantha's room because she's telling me she got a sore throat. I give up. I'm not even kidding you. So that's that. Um, so that's what I just did. And I also made, watch out, Chloe. I also made uh, bacon, chicken, ranch chicken with bacon, cheese, and broccoli casserole. Kids are having it with egg noodles. I'm gonna have mine with Brussels sprouts. This is what it looks like. I have not baked it yet, but I will. It'll be in the oven probably at 375 for 15 minutes. I've already crisped up the bacon bits because I don't like them rubbery. So that'll be in the oven later, and that's it. I'm hot. Good morning. Happy Friday. Samantha is staying home from school today. She says she's not feeling great, so I'm not gonna send her. I'm definitely not that mother that's like, oh no. Like, if you don't feel good, I'm not sending you because I mean, that's how kids get sick. I got that one parent that sends their sick kid to school and then guess what? That kid gets everybody sick, so let's not do that. Um, anyway, making coffee, as you've seen, I usually, oh God. I usually take my walk and then have my coffee, but since Samantha is not going to school today, Chloe still woke me up early, but I want my coffee first. So I'll have my coffee, wait a little while because the coffee makes me pee like a racehorse. After I've done all that, I will take a walk. Might only be a half hour walk today, 40 minutes. It's like 35 out. So, you know, I'm not trying to freeze. So, and then Arlo and I have to go to the mall. We have to bring a couple of purchases back that we purchased for Samantha. Because she, at the time, she really liked it. And so now, months later, she doesn't want them. She's never worn the jacket I bought her. It looks like a Letterman's jacket. It's from H&M. Tag is still on $60. I know I'm not going to get my fucking money back because I don't have the receipt anymore. But if I can get store credit, that'd be great. I'm going to enjoy coffee. I'm going to go put some cream in that. And then uh, you'll probably wait, be with us when we uh, are in the car. So happy Friday. I know you guys have already seen Dana. But uh, we have to go and run some errands. We got to return some stuff. I need a coffee because I haven't had one yet. For breakfast, we both had some toast on the 647 bread with some peanut butter, banana, and then Dana had two dates and I had one. I used to not like dates. When they're warm, mm, no. But when they're refrigerated, they're good. To me anyway. How about you? I was just looking out the window and it made me think. So today, the um, the township and their their big ass vacuum for the leaves. They came today, but we did the leaves the other day, and it doesn't even look like we did anything. Dana's so frustrated, and so am I, because we did all that fucking work, and it's for nothing. All right, we're in the car. She was just on the on here, so it's chilly, but it's not like it's just windy, but it is cold. But it's not as cold as it was this morning. When I woke up this morning, I went outside with the dogs. It was a little a little too much for me. Anyway, we have to go to the mall. My least favorite place to go. When I was younger, I used to love it. Don't like it anymore. So real quick, we did all the exchanges. 
Um, obviously couldn't get the money back for the jacket that we bought in H&M, but we did get like store credit and we went and picked out two items that were of equal value. Um, so we got her two sweatshirts. Um, one has like the cure on it and the other one is Harvard and she'll wear them at least. Um, and then we went to Kohl's to exchange the sneakers, Nikes that we bought and it's funny because we got 48.75 or 48 75 for them and so that was good and then that was the store credit and then we went and we got a pair of Converse's like high top Converse's. Arlo had, Arlo had a thousand things to scan at the register because she's like Kohl's cash blah 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 blah. They gave us three dollars and seventy five cents to tote, tote the the shoes away and the shoes were more expensive than the other ones. They were sixty dollars. So they gave us three seventy five back. Like unheard of crazy shit. But successful day. Everything was exchanged, didn't lose anything anywhere. So And we're listening to Adele's new CD. Yeah, we're listening to Adele's oh, CD. Yeah. It's good. If you haven't listened to it. You probably should. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. All right, so it's almost four o'clock and I'm just gonna start cooking. And Georgie's hungry because he's like, bitch, bitch. All right, so here's what's happening. I've got, what is this, spaghetti squash. I made a homemade mac and cheese, which is not for us, it's pretty much just for Austin. He'll eat that throughout the next couple of days, but homemade mac and cheese. And then I've got a salad and a salad and those two ranches are from Wingstop when we, our friend went to Wingstop and I don't know if we told you about that, maybe later I'll tell you. But anyway, there was extra Wingstop ranch, which is delicious. We've got some pork chops that have been marinating all night. I'm going to cook those right now and that's our dinner. I'll show you when it's all like plated. Dinner, two pork chops. One's a little smaller than the other, but I want it too, I'm hungry. Uh, spaghetti squash and a salad with the ranch and a little bit of those because those are freaking bomb. It's 1220. So it's now Saturday, but you know, 1220. Um, we're going to bed. We just watched The Voice. Very disappointing, by the way. <laughs> if you're watching The Voice this season, what do you guys think about it? Because I don't know. I can't get into it. We do like a a boy named Tom? A girl named Tom. <laughs> Whatever. A girl named Tom. We do like them. It's a trio. Uh, brother and sister. Two brothers, one sister. But other than that, the <clears throat> no. It's very disappointing. It's quite disappointing and we don't very. like we don't like it very. at all. We don't like it, so what do you guys think of it this season if you are watching it? I'm shutting all the Christmas lights off. Anyway, see you guys in the morning. And uh, have a good night. A good Saturday morning. I told you I'd be back. Going for a walk, can you tell? It's 22 degrees out, so I got my sunglasses. I got my gloves, my hat, a scarf, and a heavy coat. We'll see how long I can last. Whoops, there we are. We'll see how long I can last out there. I go for a walk every day. And if I don't go for a walk every day, I do exercise somehow whether whether it be the gym or I do a Caroline Gervan workout but every day my body moves so I would definitely recommend because it feels great let me go for my walk and I'll see you when I get back I think we're having chili dogs for lunch today my dad dropped off some chili and uh, we Arlo has hot dogs 
I don't know if I have any. I'll look. I don't really like the hot dogs she eats. They're a little too calorie dense for me. 120 calories for one hot dog is usually not my jam. I like chicken or turkey franks, but we'll see what I have. Good morning. You winking at me, girl? Hello. Okay, making coffee. There it is right there. So, I'll give you a brief update of what you have missed. Uh, Chloe had surgery in October. Um, she actually had a mass um, growing. She had it for years. It started off as this tiny little thing. Like you, you can barely see it. It looked like an insect bite. And then through the years, it got a little bigger. We kept an eye on it. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then it got to a point where literally, I mean, it looked like a testicle. I'm not even kidding. It was on the inside of her leg, like between her stomach and her leg, like right there. And it was kind of like hanging. And it was kind of like soft. And, and I'm just like, like I didn't have a good feeling about it, you know? So I brought her to the doctor and they... Uh, took a biopsy well let's be real they didn't take the, take the biopsy when i took her there they, i brought it to the doctor the doctor said we can biopsy it we can leave it alone and watch it and then we can biopsy it or we just have it removed and then have it biopsied and i was like let's have it removed and have it biopsied and she also needed to have a tooth extracted because her root was exposed because when she was younger i had given her a bully stick I'm not a fan of those. She she never got one again. But I gave her a bully stick, and the bully stick actually fucked her tooth right up. It cracked it, and that nerve was exposed. And so not only did they extract the tooth, but they also cleaned her teeth. So that was good. So she had teeth. Ex she had a tooth extracted, a teeth cleaning, and then a mass removed and biopsied. So it took a couple of days, and it did come back that it was cancerous. You guys know how I feel about my dog, okay? She she's the she means the world to me. She is my world. So I freaked the fuck out. But the doctor calmed me down and gave me all of the details of what kind of uh, mass it was and whatever. It was called a soft tissue sarcoma, which is a mass. Obviously, it's cancerous, but it stays within the mass. The cancer does not spread. And once you remove it, you remove everything. Um, it's not the type of cancer that spreads. So that was a sigh of relief. I'm happy I went with my gut. I'm happy that we had it removed. And I'm happy that she's okay. But I have to keep an eye because there is a strong possibility that things like that grow back. And then you have to have it removed again. So I've been, you know, just keeping an eye, making sure she's fine. But she seems a lot happier. And then that tooth being taken out. I feel like she's a, a lot more happier because I feel like, you know, dogs don't, they can't tell you they're in pain, so you never know. So I'm just happy that we had all of that done. Her hips have been good. She has been on um, gabapentin, galaprant. She takes a CB, 20 milligrams a day, 10 in the morning, 10 at night. And she's also on a, a liver medicine because one of those medicines like to mess with your liver levels. Uh, Dara Menem Menem, I'll have to show it to you. I don't know, it's a pill that big. But everything's good, like her liver le her liver levels have been nice and low, she's been good. I'm excited that she's doing well. And Chloe, 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 why I say psst, psst. you ain't no damn cat. Tell everybody you're doing good. Say I had a major surgery and I hated it. She hated it. So they gave her a cone, right? That cone lasted literally until we got home that day. It didn't work out. I bought her this like surgery suit and it looks like pajamas and it covered that area where she couldn't lick at it. And then really she was actually quite good because she did not even attempt to go near that site at all. So there was a point in time where I just took that off too because she she didn't bother with it so it healed nicely she got her stitches stitches out a couple weeks ago <sighs> that was a big woosah moment for me because this dog literally is my life like she is my life i can't live without her so 
yeah, that's what's going on. And you know, Thanksgiving is next week. We're gonna put this vlog up tomorrow, which is Sunday, and uh, so I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can today and then make like a 30 minute video for you guys. All right, so we're gonna have lunch. dana has got something a little bit different than I do. I have cut the carb and she does not. She's having her chili a different way and... I'm having it with a half a cup of rice. She's having it with a half a cup of rice. She doesn't have any hot dogs, so that's why I have hot dogs. And she doesn't, let me show you. Let me show you, right here. So, um, it's two hot dogs and one cut the carb flatbread. I don't know if you can see in there, there's some palmetto cheese, some of uh, Pop's chili, and then some sour cream. Look. Hear how fucking crunchy that is? Mmm. Mmm. I can't wait. I didn't think you were having any. All right, so supposedly Arlo lied. I have chips. These are cut the carb chips that I am going to do that with. Scoop. I've got a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of guacamole, some cheese, and the chili that my dad made with a tiny bit of rice on the bottom and white, white water. Oh my. <laughs> I was going to say white rice, but I said white water. <laughs> as, a, as opposed to yellow water, which, would, water. Would, which would be bad. Regular water. <laughs> How about just water? Okay, I'm going to eat. Bye. Okay. So this is my dinner for tonight. Dana's got two um, quarter pounders here with some sauteed mushrooms and onions. And then this is spaghetti squash from yesterday with a pad of butter. That's dinner for me. All right, so the only thing Dana's gonna be doing today is the rest of the laundry. And that's it. And that's pretty much it. So we'll see you tonight. So we'll see you guys I don't tomorrow. Know why I even involve you in any of that? Exactly. This is why I don't vlog. She's shaking her head. Oh well. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>